University of Buffalo's Libraries Annex. This is our high density remote storage facility where we collect items that were previously held at many of the libraries held on campus at the University of Buffalo. The Law Library, the Health and Sciences Libraries, many of the Arts and Sciences Libraries, as well as items held previously held in our special collections. Uh, currently, we have almost over one million items that were previously held on, uh, on campus. Uh, the item, it's, the facility itself uh, has goes 30 feet, the shelving goes 30 feet in the air. Uh, the square footage is 11,000 square feet total. Uh, this facility is our main interlibrary loan hub. Uh, this is where we uh, ship out all of the items that we lend to other institutions, and it's also the facility where we receive items that we borrow from other institutions. When books arrive at the library's annex from the different libraries on campus, they arrive in these trucks that have been driven over. Um, when they come here, we size and sort them according to basically their, their, their height and their width. And we put them in these uh, acid neutral trays, which uh, will you know, keep them you know, for forever and ever and ever. Uh, when we put them in the box, each one of these boxes goes onto a cor correspondingly sized shelf. So each one, each one of the books on this shelf are only 10 inches high. The ones on this shelf are only 9 inches high. The ones up there are 12 inches high. And basically with the high density storage facility, you know, theory, we're maximizing the amount of space used here. We're not wasting any space. What that also means though is that we strip essentially the, a lot of the characteristics of the book away from it. And we only really know about the book through a unique identifier, which is the barcode that is uh, that each item at the at the libraries has. So no longer is it shelved by the call number or by by its subject. So you can essentially have a chemistry journal right next to a Shakespeare critique. If they're the same size, if they're the same width, they go in the same box. And go. When requests for materials held at the annex come in through our interlibrary loan client. We search our own library's catalog to find that unique identifier that I mentioned previously. That unique identifier, the barcode, we input into the library's archival system from GFA, who then tell us what tray that item is in, what shelf it's in, and what row it's in. And then we go up into the stacks and retrieve that book, either alone or an article for any one of our lending libraries or for any of our local, pa local UB patrons as well. Let's go up into the stacks. When a request from one of our institutions gets submitted through Iliad, like I mentioned, we extract the barcode, we find out where it is in our stacks. This one for one of our IDS schools, Baruch College, just happens to be in this row right here. I was able to find out that this book, Film Comment, was held in the third row on the right hand side on the 11th shelf in the 13th footprint on this tray. That's how I was able to retrieve it. Right, now we'll take it down into our, onto our B-scan, we'll scan it and send it off to our fellow IDS library. So we retrieved our item from the stacks and we brought it into the main processing area and now we're ready to scan and send it off to the patron. Uh, here at the Annex, we use uh, a BookEye machine that uh, utilizes the B-Scan software. I think it's from DLSG. And our network support folks have uh, created this pull slip which automatically scans and OCRs our pull slip and populates the information to send it off to the patron. It populates the aerial address, the email address, uh, the Odyssey IP, uh, whatever method the patron wants to, to receive it, that's what it populates and it reads it for us automatically. Um, right here is the overhead scanner, the book eye that we're going to use to scan this article. Right now I'm using a foot pedal which is kind of like almost like a camera shot of each page. Uh, a lot of the stuff that's held here at the annex is really, really rare, really fragile material. And we utilize this overhead scanner so there isn't a whole lot of uh, 
you know, pressure put on the bindings of the book, if there's not a whole lot of, uh, you know, just a lot of touching of the book, unnecessary touching and, and uh, pressing down on the back of the spines. The software from, uh, from B-Scan uh, accounts for uh, the curvature of the gutters, it accounts for um, pictures, it accounts for uh, the content of each of the pages, and it also accounts for my thumbs that are in the picture. Uh, it will actually, when it does its uh, initial pass, it will account for any foreign objects such as thumbs and will automatically crop them out of the image. This being the last page of the, uh, the article that I'm scanning, once I'm completed with it, I will command the B-Scan to edit it in the way it seems fit. And what it'll do is it will check for the content that's in the page, it will uh, check for the skew of it to make sure it's not too left and not too right, and then it'll also account for my thumbs and any curvature into the margins. So the B-Scan did its initial pass, and I don't know if this is going to translate well to video, but you'll see that my thumbs were cropped out of the picture. You'll see that it accounted for the content and put a perfect square around the content on each of the pages. It made them uh, the skew of each of the pages uh, correct from a left and a w right standpoint. This one didn't require too much uh, skew editing, but uh, all the pages are perfect. Uh, they're, they have enough margin space and everything's ready to go. So now I'm just going to press done and what this will do is this will get sent uh, because this one is going via Odyssey. This one will go to our Odyssey server which will then allow us to send it to the patron uh, when we send it from our Odyssey helper. Okay. So I'm sending my article to the Odyssey helper and once it gets to the Odyssey helper we will be able to bill the people appropriately and it will also simultaneously update Iliad behind the scenes changing it from in-stack searching to request finished. This also works for email requests and for aerial requests. If it's an email request the B-Scan will automatically open up its uh, email program and send it via the, to the email address and it will also open up the aerial uh, client on, on the desktop and uh, you know populate the aerial IP and the uh, and the the ILL number and send it via via um, Ariel and when we send it when we update our Odyssey helper it will charge and also update Iliad changing it from Instax searching to request finish. So once we are completed with scanning of the article we actually have a book that we need to put back into the monstrosity that is Libraries Annex. What we do is we create a refile. Uh, we actually scan this item back into the library archival system and we denote that it needs to be refiled. Um, when we put it here the following day um, our, uh, our shelvers as it were will uh, refile all of the items that have been uh, pulled that have been generated on a, on a refile sheet and if any item is not put back in its exact tray, exact shelf, exact location, an error report will be generated allowing the manager of the library's annex to be notified whenever something is askew. Therefore, there's absolutely no way anything can really get lost here at the library's annex and everything is always accounted for. So, very much in the, the essence of the way we uh, scan articles here at the Annex, we also blend out a lot of uh, materials that are shelved here at the, at the Annex. Here is our uh, Empire Library Delivery Station for all the libraries that we do send stuff via ELD. These are our popular ones right here, but once uh, uh, about you know, an hour before our, our scheduled pickup time, uh, we'll uh, package everything up in their bags and get them ready to be delivered out. And then over here, we have our regular mailing station where we send stuff out via UPS and uh, regular US mail. Uh, all the stuff, all of the mail for our interlibrary loan department, both out, outgoing and incoming, uh, and even for items that aren't held at the annex, for things that are held at uh, our, any of our arts and sciences libraries, our law library, our health sciences library, this is actually the hub that it comes through. So all of our Iliad uh, business is housed in one location and we're able to, uh, to take care of it uh, in, one, in one location. Go.
Our borrowing requests for our own UB patrons actually come in through the library's annex as well. As I mentioned, that this is our, our, our single mailing station for, for interlibrary loan purposes. Uh, this book is an item where our, our annex staff actually creates a streamer for it and puts you know, the, the borrowing uh, label on, on the streamer. What we do is we create an item record, which is the same um, item number as the interlibrary loan request, our own UB generated transaction number, and we create an item number in ALF, our uh, circulation ILS system, and when a user creates a profile in Iliad, they uh, choose a library where they would like to pick up their material. If they're faculty and staff, we actually deliver it to their office. So when a user creates a profile, they'll select one of the myriad of libraries that we have here at the University of Buffalo, and we will deliver it, creating a hold for them for this item to be transferred to that library. If it's for a faculty or staff member, person that wants it delivered to their office, we will wrap it in this brown paper wrap and deliver it to their campus address that they have associated with their uh, UB account. Uh, the items are tracked through our circulation system, so they'll get overdues when the item, or you know, notices when the items are due. They'll also get overdue notices when the items are overdue, and uh, that's how we uh, track all of the stuff that we borrow from your institutions.